Up next, the woman who's giving Disney a run for their money with creating the happiest place on earth. It's Stacy Zeman from New Way Fitness. Oh boy. Gorsh. Welcome back. Now we're joined by Stacy Zeman, the boss at New Way Fitness, just down the alleyway from our studio here at Prospera. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So um, I see a lot of fit people going back and forth like uh, me. down there. <laughs> So tell us a little bit about your business. So, okay, we have a 2,000 square foot space. It's a boutique fitness studio, it's small, right. but uh, it's all functional fitness. What does that mean? Fitness that is going to be relevant to your daily life. Oh, okay. Like carrying your kid around with yeah. three bags of groceries and a diaper bag and, you know, like car seat and that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, been there, yeah. Yeah, we train people to be like, Catwoman in their daily oh, lives, okay. yeah. Like ninjas. Yeah, like ninjas, yeah. Yeah. Reflexes, quick. Grab that glass before it falls. So, so what kind of, how, how, do, you, how do you come up with a, the, the approach to that? Like, like, like traditional gyms we tend to think of are, you know, like machines or, or sort of more stationary stuff where you're kind of planted and doing repetitive things? Well, our workouts are always different, and we try to do that for many reasons, so that your body's always getting new stimulus. Right so that you don't get bored because if you do the same workout every day obviously there's only going to be so much time that that's fun for and then you eventually know okay this is coming and you start to dread it a little bit well she put me through workout today oh right i did really i was really <laughs> i was gonna say i did i didn't see you for like for a while there i was hiding oh you did the tv host version of the workout i did, I did. <laughs> yes i've done many of those My baby's I gotta go upstairs. We're, I'll see you never. <laughs> today we're going to do a 10k obstacle run. Uh, can we just get in the car and go to the next part? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Only some of us hosts do that. Uh, I will do. say that many of many of the hosts do the entire race. Thank you, man. Um, <laughs> Tammy's in the background. <laughs> no, I'm saying I was the one that cheated. I, I, I freely admit that. Moving forward in life, I've decided that I've allow Doug to think that he's the only one who didn't finish the extreme obstacle course that we did for Top This, but guess what, Doug? I didn't finish Mud, Sweat, and Tears either. So, Stacy, you're a boss. Even with my other trainers, I think of us all as, like, friends. I don't, for some reason, to me, it makes me uncomfortable. She's a humble boss. <laughs> there you go, something like that, yeah. Well, that's good, but what made you actually want to do that? What made you want to, like, get, you got up one day, and you're like, you know, I'm going to start a gym. Oh, passion. I think every entrepreneur says that, right? Passion. I loved fitness, and so I wanted to share that with people, and I wanted to change people's lives, and I wanted to, sounds silly, putting people through a workout, thinking that I can change their lives, but I really do believe that through fitness we are able to help change people's lives a little bit. Yeah, well, I, I mean, it, 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 if there was one thing that you could do that would you know, make you live longer, feel better, sleep better, you know, look better, it would be exercise, right? Yeah, and we bring other elements into it too. We, uh, we at the end of each class, choose something to read something inspirational or motivational or relevant yeah. to everyone's life, right? To kind of give them something to think about as they leave, mm -hmm. to take with them something inspiring and they go on and their day is better and then everyone around them has a better day. Better right. life, yeah, and then naturally and then the world becomes a better place. We yeah. preach a lot about like what you think is what you believe, so what you believe becomes your reality. Right. So we really try and get people thinking wow. differently. You know? Now, for positive feedback, I know when you have a passion, there's, there's things that, that make you continue to do it. We get lots of text messages and emails from someone who will come in and just be like, I was having the crappiest day, and what you said at the end totally resonated with me. And then does that keep you going and keep you inspired yourself? It totally does, yeah. It's so helpful to hear from our clients how it helps them, mm -hmm. because sometimes with something, like I said, with fitness, you kind of are like, uh, what am I really doing? So it's helpful to hear those things. And your decor, I know you're, it, like, you used to have Addicted Fitness, which was kind of like, I mean, it looked, it looked very like garage, like, you know, badass, whatever. And now you've kind of, it's like, did the motherly thing, <laughs> you yeah. became a mother and all yeah. of a sudden there's like beautiful like white and it's, it's a very like a feng shui, you know? Yeah, it was an organic process for sure. When I started my career, I was like, yes, I can give you the hardest workout of your life. But then... That just scared me a little bit there. There was the boss coming. Yeah, yeah. she was terrifying when she's, she's like, Lisa, get down. I'm like, yeah, I want you. <laughs> but over the course of the years, I kind of realized that that's not what people need. What people need is more like to be happy, mm -hmm. you know, because 
Well, people always think, oh, if I lose this weight, I'll be happy, or if I look like this, I'll be happy, when really what happens is, if you're happy, your body naturally reflects that. Does okay. this make sense to yeah, you guys? When you're happy, you actually like feel like, oh, maybe I should go work out. But if you're unhappy, you're like gonna just eat like Doritos and sit yeah, in your bed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Self-pity. If you feel good, Never then you look before. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought we would kind of remove the hardcore intimidation factor and just try to make it the happiest place on earth. Wow. So. And how has that changed the dynamics above your clientele? Lots of our clients are the same, like have stayed with us through the change, which is really cool to, to see them stick around. Yeah. But we've also been able to open up to a way bigger market because before people were scared. Right. right. Yeah, and really there was no reason to be scared. Everything is scalable. You can start with lighter weights and go slower and then work your way into it, right? It's less intimidating. Yeah, it's less intimidating and I feel like even as someone who spends a lot of time there before when work was over, I'd be like, Okay, bye. But now I want to hang out and spend time, and like the community <laughs> is a lot tighter now. If that makes sense. Uh, hey guys, welcome. Mhm. Mm yeah. Oh, we okay. have like our two or three token guys in every class. Uh, okay. Good. Yeah. But it's mostly women because I don't think the guys like you know we have the babies because we have a threshold for like. Pain because they, they, they can't. Oh, is this going to be? Yeah. Is this turning into like some kind of a throwdown? They some can't kind of keep a, up with. <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna keep up with you. Yeah, uh, Iron Man and, and fitness. G yeah, sure. I'm not falling for that this time. <laughs> Can I ask you guys questions? Sure. Go ahead. What do you work out? No, you said you don't. You don't. I haven't. I haven't been uh, working out for a while. Why wouldn't you work out? Um, We're sad. <laughs> are you? Do you need some? Do you need some happiness in your life? <laughs> okay, that's all for today's show. Yeah. I try to um, not exercise um, because my husband was a fitness trainer and he tried to tell me what to do. So I'm trying to get out of that that mentality of someone being the boss of me. Uh -huh. You can be the boss of me any day, though. Like I, I love what you got going on there. Just not your husband. Yeah, I just right. don't like my yeah. husband telling me what to do. Is that wrong? No. <laughs> it's not okay. We're allowed to tell them what to do, but they yeah, cannot tell it, us. Yeah, exactly. I think that's yeah. like it's... I think that's secrets revealed, live secrets revealed on today's uh, DL show. You're not the boss of me. <laughs> well, I'm, I know that. She is, because she's a boss. That's a good way to wrap it up. That's a great way to wrap it up. Thanks okay. for coming in. Cool, thanks for having me. Website. WaveFitnessKelowna.com. Yeah. All right, well, thanks so much for coming in. I'll actually take you up on the workouts because okay, cool. it's time. We love that.